My name is Emilia and during our demo session today we will be reviewing a simple integration between Salesforce and ServiceNow. More specifically, creating cases in Salesforce and transforming them to incidents in ServiceNow. The first thing we will see after signing in ZigiOps is the dashboard. Here we will be provided with additional information about our accounts licenses and integrations. For an example, our current number of active integrations, connected systems, and the self-help status of both the systems and the platform. The first step is to visit the connected systems section to add the systems which we would like to use. After clicking on add a new system, we will be provided with a list of all the systems that are currently available for integration with ZigiOps. After selecting our preferred system, we need to enter our credentials for it to connect with Ziggy. Then we click on save and test and ZigiOps will collect some metadata from both systems, which will include all the available projects, tables and entities the integration users can see. They will be used for the configuration later. Next step for us is to visit the configurator section. After clicking on add new integration, we can choose one of our predefined templates. Have in mind that you would also be able to import and create your own custom integration templates. This way, you will be able to define your integration requirements from the ground up. Next, we can go ahead and visit the main configuration page. It includes our systems, the data type we are going to sync and the correlation logic ZigiOps is going to use. After we click on save, the connection between the two systems will be established. ZigiOps will be looking for new data in Salesforce and will create data in ServiceNow. Then we will keep both records synchronized with updates in both directions. Once our main configuration is ready, we could proceed with the action levels. For each integration, we can have as many actions and operations as we need. In this case, we would need three. The first one will be handling the initial data transfer and the other two would be handling bidirectional updates. Lastly, in the UI, we will review the mapping capabilities of ZigiOps. We would simply need to visit the field map section for us to define how the data will be delivered to the destination system. This happens in the form of a mapping table with access to the fields of both systems. Now I would like to show you how the integration works. Here we can see our Salesforce system on the left side and our ServiceNow system on the right. I will proceed with creating a new case in Salesforce and see how ZigiOps will transform it as an incident in our ServiceNow system. Afterwards, I will make some bidirectional updates for us to test the synchronization capabilities of ZigiOps. This was the demo that we have prepared for our session today. If you would like to ask our team some questions for your specific use case, you can book a technical demo with us. Thank you for watching and until next time!